Hey everyone, hope you all are well. I'm kicking things off by priming the eye area and to do that, I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. I'm adding a few swipes of this to the lid and then as always, I'm taking the fluffy end of the double-ended brush that came with the Naked Honey palette and I'm buffing that product into the skin anywhere that I'll be adding eyeshadow. And this will just ensure that our shadows go on nice and smoothly, they blend nice and easily and last all day long too. Now, as we were working with colorful shadows today, you could go one step further and add an eyeshadow base. Sometimes I add a white base to make those shadows pop that bit further, but these ones do a good enough job on their own. So I'm starting with an old palette today. This is the Sleek Ultra Mattes Volume 1 palette and I'm taking that vibrant matte green on a Coastal Sense BR 250 brush and I'm going to start adding this colour into the crease of the eye. So using back and forward sweeping motions to begin with, I'll then add a mix of circular motions to get that product off of my brush and coat the crease. And once I have the shadow on there and no product left on my brush, I'm going to work on blending it out. So it does look quite harsh now, which naturally we don't want. So what I'm going to do now is then is place the brush down on the edge of that eyeshadow. On that very edge, I'm going to run my brush over back and forward and I'll start to pull the shadow then in the direction that I want. So I want that outer edge to be nice and elongated. So I'll pull the shadow outwards um, towards the tail of my brow and then I'll just keep moving my brush up a little higher towards the brow bone as I'm blending back and forward to fade that shadow out to nothing the closer to the brow bone that it gets. So I've one layer on there now, I'm going to dip my brush back into that green shadow and I'm repeating the steps, so adding the shadow back in the crease, layering it up so it's nice and vibrant and you know by now I do this in several layers, I start with a small amount of shadow on my brush at a time, add and then blend and repeat this process until I'm happy with the level of intensity of the shadow and the blend of it as well. Now I'm taking that darker green in the palette on that same brush now and I'm going to start to add a bit of dimension to the look. So this time I'm starting by patting the shadow down on the outer third of the lid and then I'm using circular motions to sweep that colour up to and into the crease of the eye and I'm mainly focusing this shadow on the outer portion because that's where I want to focus my depth and darkness. I didn't want this look to be entirely matte, so I decided to jump across to my Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette. I have several tutorials using this palette, it's great. But today I'm taking the shade Jade and I've spritzed it with some of the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better setting spray. And I'm using a C-shaped brush. Uh, this one is the Blank Canvas Cosmetics E24 Flat Shader Brush. And I'm using this just to pat the shadow down on the bare part of the lid. Now, as I was patting and pressing the shadow down onto the lid, I was kind of like, hold on a minute it now whereas that punch of pigment that I'm used to I don't remember this shadow requiring a lot of work but I copped fairly quickly that the setting spray that I was using was just obviously not playing ball so I decided to go in with that shadow dry then instead and it worked that much better as you can see my first time using that setting spray with shadows so not sure what the story was there but it definitely muted the color which I didn't want I'm all about the sleek palettes today, so I'm going in with the Acid Eyeshadow palette and I'm taking that matte black up on another Blank Canvas Cosmetics E24 and I've just worked the black into the brush as you can see. It's basically just coating the tips of the bristles and I'm pressing this into the very outer edge of the lash line, sweeping the shadow gradually upwards, coating the lid and then I'm overlapping the crease slightly. I want to add a very small amount of black just to add some depth and that's why I've applied it in this way. I'm then switching to a Royal Atlantical Silk Pro Smudger Brush. This is the B. C420 I think and I'm using this because it's nice and tapered so even though I do need to blend that black eyeshadow out I can still be quite precise when doing so to make sure it doesn't get out of hand and cover up that green. So I'm very carefully just sweeping and blending the shade keeping it to the outer corner of the eye and then to make sure it's really faded out I'm going back in with the Coastal Sense brush that I used to add the green and blending over the black and using whatever excess product is left on that brush just to fuse those two shades together. 
So I'm using the flat smudger end of a brush that came with a naked Syrah palette just to sharpen up that edge. I'm using a bit of translucent face powder now to clean up the edge and doing so in this way, I do get a little bit of a definition to that shape uh, without using a wipe or something like that and getting a very defined line. I still want an angle, but I want it to be a bit soft and smoky at the same time, if you get me. So I'm now going back to the palette. I'm taking this vibrant matte orange on my bullet shape brush from Vanity Planet. It's discontinued, um, I'm pretty sure, but any pencil style brush will do. And I'm using this to sweep that uh, orange shade all the way down along the lower lash line from outer to inner corner. And then I'm taking a very much loved Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Torch to coat my waterline. I'm just closing my eye around the pencil to coat both top and bottom waterline. So I wanted the waterline to be a bit more vibrant now, but I didn't have a more colourful liner. So I'm using Torch as a base and I'm picking up that orange eyeshadow on a Smashbox liner brush. 21 and I'm pressing this over the top of the liner on the waterline and this just sets it in place makes it last all day and as you can see now it gives me a makeshift neon orange liner <laughs> I'm taking a small touch of that black eyeshadow again now and using an angled brush. This again is just from Vanity Planet, but any will do. And I'm pressing this underneath the lashes and very roughly then I'm using my bullet shape brush just to really blend and fade it out. I'm going to go back in then and apply a little more and fade it out until I'm happy with the finish. I don't want a really harsh black line underneath the eyes but I do want a little bit of separation between the orange on the lash line and the orange beneath the uh, lash line as well. So now I'm just doing some finishing touches. I'm giving that crease area another little blend. I noticed it could do um, with one. It just could be a bit better. So uh, I've just blended some more and then I've added some of the So Su lashes in Desire. And now I'm using the uh, L'Oreal Air Volume Mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and then to coat the bottom lashes too. And then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you have a brilliant St. Patrick's Day and I'll catch you all soon.